It's niggas. Like you. Over here. Wait, that was you, mother... Let him pass all that. Neek knew you was just rock snitch. We knew you never hit Lulu. Different opportunity. Can't ride with you this time. What you on, rock? Ain't nothing left for you on the south side, man. Ain't nobody forcing me off these blocks. Damn sure not you. I ain't going nowhere with you, brother. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, and we're going to be talking about your boy, Rorel. This is the Remembering Rorel video. We had to talk about him. I told you guys he was the last character that I will be doing a Remembering video for, for Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Season 2, and you already know, Rorel met his fate in the season finale from the Italians, and we're going to talk about that in today's video. Now, you guys, make sure you check out all the Remembering videos. Um, I did Kenya a few days back. We did Zisa, Cartier, Duns, Sam, I mean, Scrappy. The list goes on and on. Um, it's a lot of bodies that got dropped off in season two of Raising Canaan, and I got a feeling in season three, it may be more. But let's talk about your boy Rorel, um, played by John Clay III. He did a hell of a job playing this role. And you already know, I did not like Rorel's character at all. I wanted to see that dude go in season one, but I had to give him his props. The actor did a hell of a job playing this character. And to be honest with you guys, when he finally met his fate, I was kind of like, damn, like, okay, so he's gone. But I wanted to see somebody from Rock's organization take him out. I didn't really want to see the Italians do it, but I had a feeling that would be the case because of Unique telling the Italians that he's not going to help them out. Once that happened, I already knew it was bad news for somebody that was close to Unique, and that person was your boy Rorel. Now, John Clay III, he did leave a message for the fans, for everybody. He said on his Instagram after the episode aired, he said, Christmas got canceled early for my guy Rorel. Man. The way I was able to be a sponge in the room with these giants for two seasons wouldn't trade this chapter of my life for the world. Thank you at Pan Sasha for trusting me and helming the best power spinoff out there. We know that Sasha Pan is the creator of Raising Canaan. He also said thank you to underscore spell with the underscore T um, for always keeping my wardrobe fire. And last but not least, thank you to all the Raising Canaan fans. You ride harder than any other fan base, 100 on to the next. So John Clay III, he definitely, you know, gave his shout out and he appreciated this opportunity. And as I told you guys, he did a hell of a job playing this role. But we know Rorel's character. I mean, from the very beginning, we saw that he was a loyal soldier to Unique back in season one. I mean, this dude almost took out Lulu. This is why Lulu was so pissed off at this dude, right? He almost took out Lulu with that fire. Um, he's part of the reason why Scrappy has or had one eye when he was alive. So he was out there putting in that work in season one. He was causing a lot of mess for Rock's organization. Now, in season two, we know Real Real was struggling because Unique was locked up. So it was kind of hard for him to get any type of work. So Rock went in and she said, you know what? I will recruit you. I will give you work. Unique don't have nothing. He ain't going to have nothing when he comes back. So when Unique does get out, Rorel is telling him, like, look, I'm working with Rock. Maybe you should just leave. He wasn't really trying to do anything with Unique. I told you guys, Rorel was more loyal to whoever can give him more. He proved that at that time. And then once Unique had a conversation with Rorel about the Italians, about the opportunities that is going to come his way, your boy Rorel said, you know what, I'm going to be down with my boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay loyal to Unique. So he went back. So even though he was still working with Rock, 
He was, you know, loyal to Unique. Rock understood this. She understood that he could not be trusted. He was giving information to Unique. Um, this was the reason why certain things would happen. And they will wonder how Unique knew about certain things. Well, that's because Rorel was running his mouth. He was telling his boy all the intel he needed to know, right? Now, even though after all that happened, Rock understood she couldn't really do anything to him because of business purposes, especially dealing with the Italians. So it was best to just allow them to live, and, you know, just to do business with them, just to buy time until she finally is going to make her move on Unique, right? But we know once Unique told the Italians that he's not willing to give them intel on Rock's organization, that caused, you know, some issues. And once that happened, I knew it was just a matter of time before something major happens to Unique. Um, I told you guys I always believed something's going to happen to his blood family. But in this season, nothing happened to them, which means the only other person that will be, you know, left will be Rorel. And he was right there with his boy, like he's always has been, right? He's always been there right by his side. The Italians, they came in in the season finale, and they was not playing around. Rorel ended up getting hit. Unique was pissed off. He starts spreading up the spot. Sadly, your boy Rorel was not able to pull through. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the hits was just too crucial for him, and he was up out of here. But I will say this, before Rorel went, like I told you guys, in season one, he caused a whole lot of drama. He made a dent in Rock's organization. Trust and believe that. I thought they was going to build more on his character because usually with characters like him, the characters that you can't really stand, you know, the smaller characters, they like building those characters up and then eventually they become bigger and more powerful. But Rorel, he did what he could do I mean, in the time that he was on the show. So I guess I got to give him his props. Shout out to your boy, John Clay III, once again, for putting in that work. We wish you nothing but the best. I mean, hopefully, I mean, you maybe can pop up and be a meth. So we know with 50 Cent in his universe of shows, he be having characters go from one show to the next show. Just ask Lala. So we're going to see what's going to happen next for your boy, John Clay III. And like I told y'all, today we are remembering Rorel, a character that I didn't really like like that. But I understand what he had to do. He had to do what he had to do to survive. And unfortunately, he made his fate from the Italians. Now we're going to see what your boy Unique is going to be on in season three. Without his boy by his side, I got a feeling it's going to get crazy. And seeing that his brother is going to come into the picture, that means it's going to make the story that much more interesting. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about his character down below. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.